The best food for your liver is thought to be broccoli by so many people because it's rich in what's called sulforaphane. And if you go down an internet rabbit hole, yeah, you'll probably find that sulforaphane is tremendous for overall liver health and helping sort of the filtration system of the liver. But when you really look at the details of various studies in a more granular fashion, you find you might get more impact out of this really abundant citrus fruit. So let's go ahead and dive in. After today's video, there is a 20% off discount link for Organifi. If you're having a hard time getting fruits in or you're having a hard time getting veggies in, Organifi is awesome. Now, particularly their red juice for me, okay? I love the benefits of fruits. I talk about them all the time, different polyphenols, different things like that, but I have a little bit of some trepidation about consuming a high amount of sugar from fruit, even though fruit is still good for you. So at least with their red juice, I'm able to get a bunch of the power of fruits and the polyphenols and the antioxidants with less than two grams of sugar. So that link down below is for Organifi. Now you can get 20% off whatever you want from their shop, their green juice, their red juice, but I definitely recommend you try their red juice. It's a way to get some fruits in without all the sugar. So again, that link down below gets you 20% off whatever you want from Organifi, check them out. But today's fruit that we're really excited about is grapefruit. Now I've been kind of hot on grapefruit for a little while now. I've just been seeing more research on it. I feel like it's kind of the forgotten fruit. My grandparents used to take a grapefruit, put a little bit of brown sugar on it, put it under the broiler, and that was like a breakfast along with their oatmeal, right? Now say whatever you want about brown sugar, say whatever you want about oatmeal. My grandparents were pretty healthy people. They walked a lot, they moved a lot, and I think eh, having a little bit of sugar from grapefruit and a little bit of sugar from oatmeal probably wasn't a huge deal. I'm not suggesting you do that but I am suggesting we look at the research behind grapefruit and how it impacts the liver. You see, the liver is not just involved in filtering and detoxification. Sure, that's a huge component of it, but it also is sort of a regulator of our metabolism in many ways. It's involved in protein synthesis. It's involved in fat breakdown. It's involved in glucose utilization. It's involved in overall regulating how we use fuels. And if our body and our liver are clogged up dealing with toxic garbage all the time, then what's gonna take a back seat? Metabolic effects, fat loss, things like that, right? So by implementing some grapefruit, you might get a powerful effect. There was an interesting paper that recently broke down the effects of grapefruit on what is called cytochrome P450. Now, you might have heard of cytochrome P450 before. It's a part of the detoxification process, okay? When cytochrome P450 is activated or elevated, it increases what's called quinone reductase and quinone activity. This is a very important detoxification process within the liver. Now, I want you to imagine a sink for a second and your liver is the garbage disposal. It may not be perfectly accurate, but it at least paints the picture. Okay, that garbage disposal gets turned on, okay? And it processes all the garbage. Well, now the sink can do its job draining the water, right? But if that garbage disposal is busted, then the sink can't really do its job. It can't really let the water drain. I want you to think of your liver being like that. If your liver's clogged up dealing with gunk and garbage, then other things can't be dealt with. So if you take care of the liver being able to do its primary job, which is keeping you safe and really acting as a filter, if you let it do that job seamlessly, it can do the other things it's supposed to do. It's like if you were running a business and you're like, just have all kinds of different stuff going on all the time. And you're like, look, like, the main thing I need to do with this business is keep money coming in so that the business can run. But I'm having to put out little fires all the time and it's making it so that I can't actually drive the business forward, right? Think about that. It's the same kind of way it is, but if you allow something else to be putting out these fires for a minute, then you can focus on doing what you need to do and everyone succeeds. It's the same thing with your liver. So what does grapefruit do specifically? Well, with that, we have to look at other citrus fruits. So there is another study that took a look at Oro Blanco. Actually, it was the same study, just a different part of the study. So Oro Blanco juice ended up increasing levels of glutathione within the liver. Now, glutathione is another major antioxidant that neutralizes some of the free radicals that have to be dealt with in the body. If we didn't have glutathione, we would be a toxic wasteland. But then we look at another study that was published in the journal Foods. And this took a look at citrus peel powder. So just a concentrated peel. Now what was really interesting is what they saw with this is that in rodent models, it decreased the inflammation and decreased the fat gain and liver fat gain 
that was created from a high fat diet. So if you put rodents on a very high fat, high calorie diet, they're gonna gain weight, they're gonna have inflammation, and they're gonna gain liver fat. But citrus peel powder seemed to combat those negative effects, which goes right in line with what we see with like grapefruit and Ouro Blanco. Why do I choose grapefruit as the one? The reason I choose grapefruit is because we also have a lower sugar content. Okay, no one thinks grapefruit is like sweet, right? No one says I'm gonna dive into a sweet, juicy grapefruit. People usually eat grapefruit because there's some kind of benefit there. Well, a lot of times they also put the brown sugar on it like my grandparents did. But what I suggest you can do is you can put a little bit of like stevia on the top and then put it under the broiler and it still tastes really darn good. So a half of a grapefruit per day can get you the components that you need to help out your liver. I'm not saying it's gonna fix everything, but it's a very like carb neutral way and very low calorie way to add some benefit to your overall liver health. Now it's kind of interesting, and I've talked about this in other videos, because if you look at a lot of medications, they will say to avoid taking that medication with grapefruit. And that's simply because grapefruit can actually impact the liver so much that it could interfere with medication. So make sure you check that out, but it also validates how powerful the stuff is. Now you could get the benefit from other citrus fruits, but then you're running the risk of consuming a bunch of fructose, which may not be super good for the liver, especially in a citrus fruit when you don't have the fiber that you would have with say like an apple or you might have with like some other berries, right? Citrus fruit's gonna be pretty low fiber, so that fructose is gonna be very concentrated and that can contribute to a fatty liver if you overdo it. So the bottom line is half a grapefruit per day might be the literal best food that you can eat for your liver outside of doing things that are good for you to begin with exercise, meditation, things that are good for your, just your body in general, right? So at the end of the day, it's simple. Take care of your liver, take care of your fat loss. I'll see you tomorrow.